My name is Tate Mayo. Uh, wear many hats. I grew up on our family farm and now I work full time out here. It's a row crop farm. We do corn, cotton, soybeans, peanuts. Somebody sent me an article and said that it was originally deeded in 1720. The tax records go back to the founding of the country, so we've been in this neck of the woods for quite some time. Everything starts here. Uh, we've got ingrain dyed yarns, uh, which means that it's dyed before they come in. We're in the 91st year of operation. When everybody else gave out Valentine's candy, I was giving out socks. I still run into folks that maybe I don't quite recognize, and they say, oh yeah, you're the sock guy. I'm like, that's me. Oh, we make socks from everything, from bamboo to wool to mercerized cotton, Pima cotton, Supima cotton, acrylic, nylon, polyester. I mean, you name it, if you can turn it into a yarn, we, we can make a sock out of it. Uh, we do everything from high-end dress socks to hiking socks and everything in between. It's a very neat market. Socks, uh, they help put a roof over my head. Textiles used to be a big industry in, in Tarboro and basically all of North Carolina. We used to have 12 different textile plants in Tarboro and we're the last one standing. I'm a youth director at our church, Howard Memorial Presbyterian. Spent time as a youth and doing various programs with the church, and then I started volunteering with the church when I got back to Tarboro. Now I'm the youth director. I was the youngest elder elected to the session at the church. Had to give that up to become youth director. I got involved with uh, local politics not really by choice. Folks said, hey Tate, you need to run for this seat, you need to run for this seat. And just to, you know, get those voices out of my head, I went to the county building, put $10 down, and sure enough, I won. And then when uh, the current mayor said that he wasn't gonna run again, same thing happened. Put my $10 down, put my name in, and sure enough, I ended up winning. I remember sitting right in that chair with the Boy Scouts, I was in Troop 49 here in Tarboro for uh, citizenship and the community merit badge. And they went to talk about uh, the internet, getting a uh, website for the town, and taxi fares while we were at the meeting. And never thought that I would be sitting up there. In terms of local politics, we've done some good things, and it's not just me, there's eight of us up there. I'm 12 and a half percent of a voice, but I'm really just echoes of the folks around these voices. If it's not what the community wants, then it's not gonna fly. And ultimately, I'm just the messenger. I take their message and repeat it on. I take their problems and try to figure out someone and some way of, of solving them. And it helps me hang my hat at night, and I get to get to go to bed easy. Growing up, I never thought I'd move back here. <laughs> my family brought me back, uh, specifically just to be around my dad. Wow, you get a picture of us. You... <laughs> Pointing at me, telling me to do something, yelling. Shortly after moving back, I uh, got involved with the things that gave back to me uh, growing up. There are 15 folks in my generation and my family. There are two of us that live in Tarboro. It's me and my baby sister. You know, there's a lot of responsibility that I bring upon myself to make sure that the farm that sits around us right now doesn't end up in solar panels, that we can still make it a functioning operation. Same thing with our textile mill. I want to see it work. I've put in a lot of hours, some paid, mostly unpaid, trying to make it work, trying to learn it. And 
that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it work. I don't know how. Got some ideas, but it's gonna work. go anywhere, you can do anything, you can chase any dollar, anything associated with a dollar, but at the end of the day, uh, it's what means the most to you. And for me, that's my family, that's my community, that's my spirituality, and here I'm, I'm one with all of it. <laughs>